Hey guys, I hey guys, I know today is the th well, third time today that I posted on my YouTube channel, but I had this brilliant idea to share places I'd like to visit. Well, I'd really like to visit the UK, and well, we've got a really pretty good reason to you know. Um, my favorite band, the Beatles, are from there. Um, most of you probably even haven't even heard of them. Well, they're the most popular rock group in history of the world, really. They're sixty from the sixties, but I mean, I kind of got addicted to them for like a, an outrageous reason, and also. Some of my ancestors were from England, so. But the main places I'd like to visit in England is George Harrison's home, Friar Park, at Henley on the Thames. Now, that'd be a place to visit. Also, I'd like to go to Liverpool, where the band is originally from. And you gotta be honest, I've seen a lot of pictures of Beatles places in Liverpool, like those statues on that pier, and I think they got a Beatles story shop museum in Liverpool too, I think, and they got a Beatles shop there in Liverpool, and I think in London too. Every time I'd see those pictures, you know, I could hear angels singing and maybe kind of want to lose my mind because I really want to go there but that's like all the way across the half the continent and a whole ocean for me being that I'm living in the panhandle of Nebraska in the United States for those of you who aren't familiar with the layout of the United States that live in other countries like the UK and wherever So, but I think another place I'd like to visit is Spain, because what I mentioned in my earlier second video of today, that I'm a Spaniard, a Spaniard, yeah, can't really talk today, right now, and I'd like to visit that one arena and what was it? Madrid or wherever it was at, that bullfighting arena. I mean, I know most people think it's cruel to fight a bull, but I mean, you gotta think about tradition, really. Because bullfighting is a Spanish tradition dating back, like, I don't know, forever. Forever and ever, really can't really, I don't really know when the tradition started, but I know it was a long time ago. But, that's kind of one of my, those are my top two places to visit that are off this continent, really, because right now, with the way the United States is going, yeah, I kind of want to get off this continent for a while. I mean, you gotta be honest, this country's going downhill compared to what it was, what, a couple of years ago when Trump was president. But I kind of want to get on to the subject of while I'm recording this video of the January 6th attack. Now, most of you probably think it was Trump that did it because all the Trump flags and Trump hats and all that, but after I read an article thing like back when I was doing a essay on it last year, I think like shortly after it was happened, and apparently only a few of the supporters had shown up to the riot, so which leaves me to 
a knowledge that it wasn't Trump supporters, it was um, radicals. I had to think there for a moment. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what radicals are, they're basically, I don't know, a group of people that don't really belong, like, don't really belong to a party or a candidate or whatever. They kind of, they're kind of like the 13 colonies, you know, kind of got to think of, of them as that, even though, I mean, they're not fighting for their independence like we were, but... I don't know, I kind of see them as more of troublemakers than anything else. Troublemakers, I want to ruin somebody's reputation. I mean, they seem to have done a pretty good job, pretty real job of ruining Trump's reputation, but they didn't really do so, because I know there's still some, quite a few Trump supporters across this country of ours. And I'm one of them. I bet I had to think like here February of last year before the pandemic. We were up in Rapid City in South Dakota and oh they had a deal at the Monument Mall there and I think it was like some sort of flea market and found a hat that I liked. And of course there was a stand filled with a bunch of Trump stuff that was being sold. Ran across this hat that I liked. It was red with, I think, like, white stars and blue stripe. That said, Trump 2020, make liberals cry again. Like, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So I got that hat with the last $20 of my birthday money. Because I had my birthday money, I think, like, what, the weekend before we went up? I think it was the weekend before we went up. And so, before I bought the Trump hat at Monument Mall, I remember we were at Happy Days. It's it's close to the end. So, I want to say what? East, West Side? I can't remember. My, my directions aren't very on point, to be honest with you. <laughs> So, we were in Happy Days, and I bought a Beatles coffee mug of a hard day's night, and I was kind of thinking on buying something else, too, but that was all I bought at Happy Days. And then we... Then I bought my Trump pad with the last of my $20. But, yeah, this this country's going downhill pretty fast, if you ask me. I kind of want to get off, off this continent for a while. You know, maybe go to England for a little while where it doesn't seem so crazy, even though they're having a panic over gas over there. Yeah, yeah, everybody in the UK, I, we watched CNN 10 in school, and that's what I found out, that you guys are having a gasoline crisis over there. Well, I know you guys will get through it, because, you know, as one strong nation, you know, because British are always good at everything, I guess, I guess, but... That's what I read in The Lord of the Flies when we did that unit in English. Here, what? First some first quarter? But, wanted to touch base again with everybody today, even though I already did, like, what, three times? Well, first time wasn't really me talking. It was just memorabilia of George Harrison, because tomorrow's the 20th anniversary of his death. He died in 2001. For those of you who don't know what year he died. Tomorrow in 2001. So 20 years. And I was alive 16 of those. Going to be 17 years in February. Here in a few months. 
So, kind of wanted to touch base with you, but remember, like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'd kind of like to get some subscribers, so please, please, please subscribe. Thanks, everybody. See you, talk to you maybe tomorrow, some, sometime this week.